there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Today we are talking because we have some updates to the event of the Black with the QUE Expo. It looks like some people are looking at the videos, you guys, even though they're striking some people, they're looking at the videos and the commentary that we are dragging as far as this scam. So they have updated the tickets uh, as far as this so so now all of a sudden you guys we have a date and time right but this is going to be funny right because on the event bright it says saturday february 24th 9 to 6 p.m eastern but prior to this what happened to the 23rd wasn't there something supposed to be going on on the 23rd it said it was supposed to be the 23rd to the 24th so so now it is just one day nine to six allegedly right uh, we still have the location in Atlanta. They still won't post where the actual location is because I guess that's what the private event uh, Phonics Unhooked means. Uh, still no refunds, but I want to point your attention to the right-hand side of your screens, you guys, because in the original Eventbrite that we posted receipts on, uh, prior to, you had up until February 23rd, I believe, to purchase tickets, whether you were going as, you know, a, a guest or you were going to be as a vendor. But, but check this out. Check out the scam. And see, this is how it's a scam, you guys. The sale is going to end on February 12th, you guys. It is going to end 12 days before the event. Uh, so it says now it is they're calling it an early supporter special and they're charging the $50 uh, plus the 520 uh, fee or what have you. And then they're saying, quote unquote, early supporter vendor, uh, $200 plus $15 and 26 uh, cents for the fee and the sale and February 2012, you guys, uh, 2024. Uh, this is a mess. So, so either one or two things are about to happen, right? Because you guys are not getting your refunds, right? One or two things are about to happen. Either the price is going to go up from, you know, February 12th or 13th on until the date of the quote-unquote event on the 24th, or, or this, these are going to be the only tickets right they're, they're calling it quote unquote early supporter to try to get feelers to see how many people are interested and if it doesn't you know bite if people don't bite why would you increase the ticket prices if you're not getting the number of sales that you're looking forward to because i think when we first started talking about this i think it only had like 10 or 12 followers i think it's up to 22 followers or what have you but but why now is it an early bird it, it's giving scam you guys, it is giving scam. Either the people are not purchasing the tickets or there's not enough tickets and they think by doing a price increase that that's going to attract more people, that more people are going to be rushing to buy tickets when your own website does not even have the information it still says to be announced and that it's in Atlanta, you guys. Uh, so, so this is the first. Uh, updates that we have seen finally we have a date so it's no longer you know the 23rd and the 24th it is now just the 24th from 9 to 6 so we finally have a time after we've been dragging this event right because it was saying that the entire event was one day and um you know i believe it was like one day and two hours or something weird um and it was saying originally that there was only going to be two hours of the black with the que expo on the 24th but now that since has changed to a full work shift of nine to six however there still is no agenda there still is no agenda there still is no information and we still have to kind of you know play a guessing game right so so this is the conclusion of the first set of updates so let's get into some more updates so the next thing that we're getting into you guys is we have a new instagram page and a new ad that we need to talk about 
Uh, so first, I direct your attention on the left, this new Instagram page uh, promoting the MLS Foundation and uh, a new logo post that was posted a couple of days ago. There's three followers and two following. I presume the followers are you know who and, and, and everything else. Uh, and then we have a new ad that the PR firm is also showing as well. I think originally at the top of the logo, it also has the Amazon logo as well as the uh, logo for this foundation that apparently is just now coming together with an Instagram. Make it make sense if it's been in existence forever. Uh, why are we just now having an Instagram about it? Right? Uh, so, <laughs> like, like, this is what I mean. I, it's just so crazy, the scam that is happening, right? So it says all the following. So it says, calling all black, black entrepreneurs and small business owners, February 24th, 2024. It says, join us at the black with the QUE Business Expo um, for, which should have a, a colon after, you know, grammar, me, always thinking grammar. Um, inspiration, it looks like the PR company has proofread and, and spell checked this time around. Uh, so we have inspiration spelled correctly this time and not the inspiration that was on the last ad. Um, collaboration, knowledge, and networking. And then it has another Black Business Expo logo. And then it says, um, purchase tickets at mlsfoundation.net um, slash Black Business Expo Atlanta, you guys. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I just can't. I just can't. Please let me know. Have any of you guys purchased any tickets? Do any of you who are uh, entrepreneurs, do you plan on being a vendor at this event? Are, are you looking for some exposure? Because more than likely, this is probably going to be filming, right? They're more likely filming this for the show, right? So, so, um, so, so there is that. But um, clearly, um, while, you know, some people are in the midst of striking people's channels that is giving you publicity, that is giving you clout, that is making people aware of your event, uh, is increasing at least your followers from like the 10 that was there before to 22. So there is some interest or it could just be all your family, right? That's interested. We don't know. Right. Uh, but nonetheless, we are doing you a favor. We are giving you the promo. But you know what it tells me with how hard they're going to try to strike people's channels is it tells me that they want to block people telling the truth. And that's not a good sign because the whole point of having a reality television show that you're being a part of the cast for and that you're filming episodes for is you're supposed to be showing us your real life. But the problem is the reason why social media and YouTube has overtaken the show is because you're not showing us the truth on the actual episodes. We should not have to do these deep dives and these research into all of these people's businesses and, and find court cases and find lawsuits and find all of these things that are taking place that you refuse to air on the show but then you want to try to con the people into these scams conveniently when filming is in session. We never hear about this foundation outside of filming, you guys. We never hear about any events about these so-called millionaires and entrepreneurs outside of filming. That is a red flag, and that tells me this is nothing more than a money grab, and this is nothing more than an opportunity to have a storyline for the show, because it is all signs right now is pointing to there's no more tell. That's what the signs are pointing to because normally they wouldn't be going this hard to push this black with the QUE Expo if uh, Martell was involved, right? If they knew that they could ride behind Martell's drama and not reveal anything going on in their lives, right? So it's giving that Martell is gone. It's giving that they can no longer defend Martell because now Martell has, you know, has all of the mainstream media after him and exposing him and exposing what is really happening in these court cases of how much of a monster he is. So obviously you can no longer be supportive of that. You can no longer be posting supportive posts and videos on the gram and on YouTube, still backing Martel after all of the shenanigans that's taking place. Now that the whole world is aware of everything, even though we've been saying it for a long time, right? So you can't hide but that behind that anymore. So so what's next? So what's next is hey, 
you know, Martel fumbled. You know, we tried to tell him that the Holtz had to take the show back, but but now it is on you. You are going to be the new Holtz because you guys are still married, regardless if you're married for real or not, in terms of living separate lives and in terms of allegedly being separated, in terms of allegedly having, you know, at least one party thinks it's an open marriage of some sort to where uh, they don't have to be faithful to you. Uh, and they can go to various quote unquote black bachelor parties outside the country in South America and in Africa, allegedly. Um, or it could just be a date with a side piece. We don't know. A vacation with somebody else who's not your spouse. We don't know, allegedly, right? But, but we need to focus in to make you guys look like real entrepreneurs. So we need to shift the focus. We need to try to brand you guys and, and take you guys seriously as real entrepreneurs. So we really have to make sure that this Black with the QUE Business Expo is a success. We have to make sure with all the misspellings, with the Instagram page uh, created a couple of days ago, with one post a couple of days ago with the logo, that, that we have to sell this and make this look legit. Uh, this went from a, you know a day and, and two hours to, to now being just nine to six. However, there still is no agenda. This went from tickets being on sale until the 23rd of February to now being on sale uh, for quote unquote the early supporters and the early vendors up until the 12th. Which either means since there's zero refunds that these are all the, you know, whatever they get, that's going to be the number of people that they are going to anticipate. Or what they're going to do is try to jack up the prices and try to get more of your money, you guys. But either way, this is all a disaster. This is all a disaster and how hard they're trying to go for, for this private event. Phonics on Hook keeps calling this. Uh, they are publicly trying too hard to sell this to you. They are publicly trying too hard to sell you that this is legitimate. And this also, I can't stress enough, is the same day as Melody Sheree Rogers sip and see who has, you know, who Ben had, you know, a detailed ad, a detailed flyer of the event, when it was, where it was, how long it was, and, and everything else. Meanwhile, we have to pull at strings. We have to pull to just get minimal information. And the problem is they don't like what we're saying. So they think by striking people's channels that, that they're doing somebody a favor, but really you're putting more onus on yourself. You're doing more harm on yourself because that's causing more people to investigate. And because of this, you're going to have more people that are now going to boycott season seven because they're not going to be playing these games or what also is going to happen is people are going to talk about the show and they're going to only talking about whatever's going on with Mel and Mama Van and, and you know and, and Stormy and Courtney and uh, Kiki and uh, the Fletchers they're going to talk about everybody else but the people who are behind striking these channels and, and the worst part about this is that you literally have somebody who claims that this is their show who decided they wanted to be a YouTube star too. They wanted to be a part of the mess too. They wanted to quote unquote spill tea, um, you know, under their own guidelines, under their own terms. But then they are giving terrible advice to their own cast and, and not holding their cast accountable. You guys are mute on the revenge p you guys were mute on all of the disrespect and, and the public things that martel and martel's side chick were saying out loud about melody sheree rogers about the kids about mama van you guys were nowhere to be found and in fact like i said you guys would be on facebook you would be on instagram liking messy comments putting laughing emojis if it was just flat out disrespect to melody sheree rogers but now all of a sudden when the spotlight is on you, you can't take it. You're threatening lawsuits. You're threatening to take down people's channels when if it wasn't for our channels, you wouldn't be the number one show on OWN. Make it make sense. Like I said, for me, none of this is per personal. It's completely for entertainment purposes, but I will not be scammed. I will not be scammed and I will not be taken advantage of uh, for people to just make a quick buck. That's not okay. I need receipts that you are a legit business owner. And I don't mean that just filing for a trademark the other day. 
right? Or just creating an, an Instagram page the other day with a logo. Any of us can do that. Any of us can, can go on Fiverr and ask somebody to create a logo for us and make us look legit and tell us, you know, and tell them, hey, we want this, you know, details in our designs, right? But nonetheless, something has to give. And if we're exposing now that all of this is fake, that all of this is phony, that we still do not have a, an agenda at all. And, you know, we're supposed to be having this event, you know, what, 12, 13 days away from now? No, 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 no. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. We're two weeks away and, and this is the best you can do. You're just going to keep putting out new ads and, and try to improve the spelling and, and semi improve the grammar. And, and because you have a sponsor in Amazon, because you have PR people that primarily work with Dr. Heavenly and Tamika Foster Raymond, Usher's ex-wife, that we're supposed to take this seriously? The answer is no. You still won't even post the hotel that it's at. You barely have posted the time. There's still no agenda. The people who do not, who are either vendors or quote unquote early supporters, uh, we don't even know if there's gonna be any type of refreshments, any type of coffee or anything when you get there, uh, any pastries, is there gonna be a lunch, a breakout session? We have no idea, but the AI generated ads that keep being posted. And it's literally the same ad. They're just like reworking it with different graphics. Notice that. And notice they have taken down uh, the uh, up in the club promo shot that was on the original ads uh, that was showing uh, legs and thighs. And instead of a black with a QUE in <laughs> like, like, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? So somebody definitely is watching and paying attention to us critiquing all of the foolishness that is taking place as it pertains to this Black with the QUE Expo. And people are working overtime to sell this to make this happen. And here is the thing. Melody Sheree Rogers didn't have to do any of this. She didn't have to go this hard in the paint to promote herself. All her stuff has already been proven. She was already winning awards before the show. She was already writing books before the show. She was already a multimillionaire before the show. She was already successful and she put you guys on. And this is the thanks that she gets to have events the same day as her. Who are you, Beyonce? <laughs> like, what is going on? What is happening, you guys? This is crazy. Just because it's going to be in Atlanta doesn't mean it's going to be more successful. Especially if people are up on game and know it's a scam. So, uh, so there is that. I just wanted to give you guys the latest updates because I feel like you need to be informed. You need to be informed of what is happening and what is taking place real time while they're trying to distract you and, you know, trying to take down channels that are primary supporters uh, of Melody Sheree Rogers or channels that specifically drag them and expose, you know, their scams that they are trying to, you know, convince the people about. We're going to continue to research and investigate and we're going to continue to provide updates because it seems as though uh, we're inching closer to this event that is no longer the 23rd and 24th, is now just the 24th from nine to six. Uh, we're getting small amounts of details. Maybe by the day of the event, we'll actually get a name of a speaker. Who knows? Maybe we'll get an agenda, maybe the night before the event. Maybe that's what the 23rd was for. Uh, that was their deadline to post everything. <laughs> like I just, I, I can't, I can't you guys. But this is why you are here. You are here because you want the truth, you want receipts, and you wanna see what you're getting yourself into. And that's why you're here for real. And then from here, you can make the decision, okay, do I need to boycott this show now? Do I need to expose the people that I know that live in Atlanta or, or surrounding areas uh, not to go to this event? Do I have tea on any potential speakers or any type of um, potential vendors that are actually gonna be participating in this event that I need to tell them they need to pull out now? So this is going to be interesting, you guys, but um, you know, the buck is not going to stop. We're going to continue to, to comb through all of this, you guys, because it's not fair to take advantage of people, I'm sorry. 
How can you beg people for money and they have no information on where the money is going to? And then there's no refunds. There's no information about the event. So, so what are you paying for? What are you a vendor for? What is the objective? And I don't mean the AI generated one that is on Eventbrite and that is on your website, you guys. What is the objective? What is the event going to encompass? Why don't we have that information? And why did you move up the date? 12 days before now. Um, so it expires in a couple of days. This quote unquote early supporter program is a little sketchy because it's giving, uh, if we don't get enough sales, we're just gonna shut it down altogether, uh, you know, whenever the 12th gets here. And, and that's a little bit scary. Or they'll try to, like I said, increase the prices in hopes uh, that will attract more people and they can line their pockets more, which also is a red flag. Both are red flags. However, you slice and dice it. Because what was wrong with having this available for people to purchase all the way up until the event, especially if it's not sold out? Make it make sense, right? And so uh, so we'll continue, like I said, to monitor this. This is why you were here. To see what the truth is. To see what is happening. To see real time what is being posted, what is being updated, what is being taken down, and, and all of the things. Uh, so there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.